When working on a percentile ranking problem, it's important to keep in mind that percentile ranking refers to the percentage of the population that falls below the given score. When solving a percentile ranking problem, there's going to be four steps that we're going to need to follow. The first step is to draw the picture. This is perhaps the most important of all four steps. It's going to help give us an overview and help us to get a sense of what should this percentile ranking be. Is it a large percentile ranking or a small percentile ranking? Second, we're going to need to calculate a z-score to find out the number of standard deviations between the given value and the mean. Our third step will be to refer to the z-table to find out the area or proportion of people between the mean and z. And finally, our fourth step will be to update the picture and solve the problem. So step number one is draw the picture. From our word problem, we learn that the mean is it going to be a 70. And so we go ahead and record 70 as our mean. Also, the value of interest is an 87. And so we record an 87. We draw a line for the mean and a line for the 87 and we shade in the area of interest. From doing this, we know that this person's percentile ranking is going to be greater than 50 percentile. That is, if someone scores a 70, they're right smack dab in the middle. If they score above a 70, they're going to have a higher than a 50th percentile. Our person did quite well. Another important thing to keep in mind when you look at a distribution is that the mean, for normal distribution, the mean cuts the distribution directly in half. When we're looking at our two shaded areas, one shaded area is the entire area below the mean. And because we know half the population is below the mean, we already know that 0 0.50, or half the people, are below the mean. To figure out percentile ranking, all we need to do is figure out the proportion of people between the mean and 87. If we can do that, we'll add up the 0 0.500 plus the proportion of people between the mean and the value of 87, and that will help us determine our percentile ranking. So the next steps are to figure out this area between the mean and the value of 87. To do that, we're going to need to calculate the z-score for the value of 87 to find out how many standard deviations is 87 above the mean. We'll then use that to go look up the proportion of people between the mean and z in the z-table. The formula for a z-score is the value minus the mean over the standard deviation. <coughs> so let's go ahead and fill out this information. So first, we're going to need to put in the top left box the value. And the value is an 87. We're going to subtract from the value the mean. The mean is 70. So our value, 87. Our mean, 70. In the bottom, we're going to put the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is 12. So we go ahead and we figure that out. 87 minus 70 is 17 over 12. That comes out to be 1.42. Okay. Now we're going to need to look up that 1.42 in a z-table. The z-table is located at the back of your workbook. And the z-table will let you know the area between a mean and z which is what we need to figure out. Let's go ahead and look at the z-table to find out the area that we need. When you look at the z-table, on the leftmost column, it gives you the z-values. We're interested in a 1.42. Well, it only tells us 1.4. The hundredth place is actually found along the top row. 
O2. So we have 1.4 and 0.02 tells us the proportion of people between the mean and z. Here's our distribution. Our z score is 1.42. Four. And the proportion of people who are in the shaded region is 0 0.422. Okay, our fourth step is solve the problem. So we found out that the proportion of people between the mean and z is 0 0.422. To determine the percentile ranking, we want to know the percentage of people that someone who has an 87 outperform. It's going to be all of these people. To determine that, we're going to say 0 0.500 plus 0.422. Add them up, we get 0.922. Now that's a proportion ranging between 0 and 1. Percentile ranking involves percentages. So we need to turn that percent we need to turn that proportion into a percentile. We multiply it by 100. So the percentile ranking for someone who scored an 87 is going to be 92.2 percentile ranking. Thank you very much.